Okay, so we are going to be going through um, how to create a quizzes. Now, I'm already joined, so you just go to quizzes.com, which is up there, Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z.com, and you can um, make sure that you're obviously in the English, American English version. You can sign in. I'm going to log in. You might have to sign up. You can say, I am a teacher at a school. Um, put your email and all of that stuff in there. So, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, once I get in, I can either search for quizzes. So, if I want to search for rhythm, I can do that. And, you know, sometimes you don't get what you really want to get, right? It's like anything else. But you might be able to go in and create or play or duplicate and edit um, somebody else's. So, if I wanted to duplicate it, I just go in, it would duplicate it for me like it is. Um, I'd go to my quizzes. I could find the rhythm and counting. There's the one I duplicated. Go in there and edit it. Change it to how I need it to be. So um, I can edit, you know, saying, clicking off of this. Oh, do you know you can add questions for other quizzes and using search? Yes, you can search for other questions on here if you want to. Um, so that's a possibility. I personally don't really use that. So I can click on that little thing, get rid of it. Um, it's going to say, how is this note counted? Obviously, this is not really for us, but it's just to show you that you can go in and, and um, see what other people have put in. Now, for me, I'm going to go into create because you guys wanted to learn how to create your own quizzes. So you can give your quiz an image if I wanted to do that. I'll use this one from yesterday, something I did yesterday. I could add that in. So slow. I'm going to write uh, screen cast test. And make sure that it's in English, obviously. And then you can choose if you want it to be public for other people to find it or private just so that you have it. I'm going to choose private because I don't need the whole world seeing this fake quiz. Then I can get into the question. So I can add a question by just clicking on the box right here. And I can say, what is the picture of? And if I want to add an image behind it, I can upload it from the computer. Or I could go online and search, let's see, search an image, find an image on Google, get the URL, put the URL in, I wish they had like a search from Google function, and upload that. Oh, that is the valid image URL. Weird. <sighs> Visit page. Maybe it's this. Well, I'm not quite sure why this is looking at, or this is like that. Here's the link. Copied it to Google. Pasted it in. Well, I don't exactly know why that's working, but usually you can do that. So I can click on that to upload. I guess this is what I'm doing today. Here's one sent by my kiddos. And I'll upload that. It's being kind of slow. Oh, geez, I might be coming back to this another day. Goodness gracious. And then you can start putting in options. A, B, handle. D, and you choose whichever one is the correct. Then you're well, you can add a time if you want to. So how long do you want kids to be able to, to answer this question for? 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. I usually do 30 to 45 depending on whether or not I'm going to set the time later. I can choose, um, ooh, I didn't want to do that. I can choose to remove the image if I want to. 
and I can trash the question if I don't want it, or I can duplicate the question by clicking on this little guy, or I can add something new. So here's my second question. Uh, what school do I work at? And then I would say BH, SU, BH and SU, powered. And I click on the correct one and keep going and so on and so forth. If I wanted to click on edit quiz info, I could right here. And that will take me back to this beginning part where clearly my image is not, this is not a thing that's working for me today. I think it's just taking a long time to load. The internet's kind of slow here right now. Um, I can search for questions. I can say 2 plus 2 equals and then I might go into section 2 quiz or whatever and maybe if I really wanted to do that I could add this question so you can search for what you want um, and then going back you can close right there and you go back so then you finished your quiz you finished creating it you give people a time limit of three minutes for that you click finish and you can select your grade range. Obviously this one, because I have that one question, B2, whatever. You can also select your subject. So if it's, if you want it to be um, out and about on the public side where other people can use your quizzes, then you'd, you'd want to do this. Otherwise you don't have to. And then you can click music um, and any tags, things that you might want to share. So now I'm finishing and creating my quiz. And I can play it live. Here's where I can delete it. If I want to change any questions, I can edit it here. I can duplicate it. I can share the link by clicking on these. I can share it on Facebook, Google, Pinterest, Twitter, um, or just get the link and send it to my kiddos. I can assign it as homework. So students have to do it at home to complete it by a certain time. And when I get here, I can say, um, I want to jumble the questions, jumble the answers, show the answers, have them review it, show a leaderboard. I can take away the times or give them more time um, or have them be timed, I guess. Um, I can take the memes off or keep them on. I use the default ones because they're good for kiddos. They're kid friendly. Not sure about these, but these are kid friendly. Um, you can choose to have the music play on their devices or not. So there's a little bit about that. And you can show a due date. So maybe you want them to have it due by this time. They'd have to have their quizzes done. If they don't, then they'd be have to come and talk to you about that. Um, I'll go back to my quizzes to go to the live version. When you click play live, hopefully it'll load. Uh, you can do the same thing, jumble the question order, jumble answers, show the answers, do a review for them, take away the timer, same kind of thing. And you can click proceed. And then once you click proceed, this will pop up. Students can enter this code. They have to open it, joinquizzes.com. So theirs will look like this. This is what I put in Schoology anyway for them. It will look like this. On the student page. They'll enter their six digit code, which is right here. And there's a walkthrough video, so if they don't know how it works, they can look at that too. Um, and they can log in and play. So just to kind of review, you click create, you add your information. You can add questions, you can add images, usually you can use a URL, I'm not sure why it's not letting me today. You can upload from your computer if you have a picture you want to use. You choose the correct, which one is going to be correct. You can add questions over here, duplicate questions here, trash a question here, search for questions here, set the time right up in here, and then when you finish, Sorry, I'm just making this to finish. And when you finish it, you can select what you want to select. Ugh. I'm just making this up right now. 
and then you've got um, time to do that. So that is how you create a quizzes. You can print the quizzes out too if there are kiddos that didn't bring your uh, bring their iPads in. So if they need to, you can print it out and they can write it out, which is also kind of neat. Oops, oops, oops. So that's a little bit about quizzes. I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Try your own.